Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will discuss the Python set operations. At this point, the viewer should be familiar with Python sets. If you would like a refresher or are new to sets, please check out the video I link in the description, which is the intro to Python sets tutorial. So in this tutorial, let's think of sets from a mathematical point of view and consider parts of set theory. A set is simply a collection of distinct elements or mathematical objects. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we will work with sets that are collections of numbers and specifically integers. Something like set A, which has elements 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, and set B, which has elements 1, 2, 4, 8, and 9. Perfect. So now we have our sets defined and let's dive into the Python set operations. In set theory, a set union is a set of collection of sets. What this means is that if we have two sets, A and B, we can combine them and only take distinct elements, meaning that repeated elements will be dropped. So in this example, we have set A with elements 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, and set B with elements 1, 2, 4, 8, and 9, and here is their visual representation. You can also notice that elements 1 and 2 are present in both sets. Now, meaning that when we do the union, we will only count them once. And this is how it looks. Here's the mathematical notation. And the yellow area shows the union set. Notice that elements 1 and 2 are only counted once. And here's our final result where we confirm that we only have elements 1 and 2 counted once, and then the remaining elements are distinct. Now let's see how we can do the same thing. Now let's see how we can do the same operation using Python. We will first create both sets, A and B, and you can see them above. They are exactly the same as the example in the PowerPoint section. Now, we will use the union method of Python set to perform the union operation. First, let's create a new object and call it set union. And now actually write the code that will perform the Python set union operation. And finally, print out our result and take a look at it. Now let's run the code and see. Perfect. Our answer is exactly the same as in the PowerPoint section, where elements 1 and 2 are only repeated once, and the remaining elements are also distinct elements of the Python sets. In set theory, a set intersection is a set of collection of mutual elements of sets. What this means is that if we have two sets, A and B, a set intersection will contain all elements that are present in both sets. In our example, we have set A, which has elements 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, and set B, which has elements 1, 2, 4, 8, 9, and we see that elements 1 and 2 are present in both set A and set B. When we perform the set intersection, elements 1 and 2 are the only elements present together in both sets A and B. And the yellow area in the infographic shows the intersection of set A with set B, and mathematically we write it as intersection of set A and set B is a set which has elements 1 and 2. Now let's see how we can do the same operation using Python. We'll first create both sets A and B. 
which is shown right here. And then we will use the intersection method of Python set to perform the intersection operation. But first, let's create a new object. And perform the intersection operation of Python sets. Let's also print our result. And now let's run the code and take a look. Perfect. Our result is the same as in the PowerPoint, where we have elements 1 and 2, which are present in both sets A and B. In set theory, the set difference between set B and set A is also referred to as the relative complement of set A in set B. It is defined as the set of elements that are present in set B, but not present in set A. So here we have our sample sets, set A with elements 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, and set B with elements 1, 2, 4, 8, 9. When we perform the set difference operation, we see that elements 1 and 2 are the only elements present together in both sets A and B, but elements 4, 8, 9 are only present in set B. So the set difference between set B and set A is exactly elements in the yellow area, which are 4, 8, and 9. Now let's see how we can perform the same operation using Python. We'll first create our sets A and B, which are the same as we saw in the PowerPoint. And then we will use the difference method of Python set to perform the difference operation. First, let's create a new object and call it set difference. and then perform the set difference operation. Now let's also print our results. And run the code to take a look. We see that the result of the Python set difference between set B and set A is elements 8, 9, and 4, which is exactly the same as we saw in the PowerPoint answer. In set theory, the symmetric difference between two sets, A and B, is also referred to as the disjunctive join. It is defined as the set of elements present in either set A or set B, but not in both together. So not in the intersection of set A and set B. Mathematically, it is calculated as a union of both set differences. So for our example, we will have set A which has elements 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, and set B, which has elements 1, 2, 4, 8, 9. And when we perform the symmetric set difference operation, there's actually three steps that we can think of. So first step is find the set difference between set A and set B, which is going to be elements 3, 7, and 5. Next, find the set difference between set B and set A. And these are going to be elements 4, 9, and 8. And finally, union these set differences, and you will find that it's 3, 7, 5, 4, 8, 9, which is going to be the set symmetric difference between set A 
and set B. Now let's see how we can perform the same operation using Python. We'll first create both sets A and B, which are right here and same as in our PowerPoint, and then use the symmetric difference method of Python set to perform the symmetric difference operation. First, let's create a new object and call it set symmetric difference. And then perform the symmetric difference operation. Now let's also print our result. And run the code. Perfect. So the set symmetric difference between set A and set B are elements 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, which is exactly the same as the answer we have in the PowerPoint. In this tutorial, we focused on a complete walkthrough of Python set operations with detailed formula explanations and examples. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions. Please like the video and share it. Also subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more of my Python programming tutorials.